Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's the end of my day, and I think I have some glasses around here somewhere. I hope so. There they are. I got them. So I'm going to cut one of my little swipe cards in half so I have two clean edges. Hopefully. I'm going to put some paint in my shovel. I'm going to take out my 16 by 20 inch black canvas. I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula. I'm going to put some black paint on the canvas. Move it out of my way. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading tool around. In my opinion anyway. Works miraculously well and shows you any imperfection in the surface of the paint. So you can then use your tweezers if you've got tweezers. I recommend tweezers. It's a really comforting thing to have. Get really tired of sticking your fingers in trying to pull out little filaments in the paint. So there looks like there's a goodly amount of paint on here, even more than I was expecting. But it's a hot afternoon still and that should stay a little moister and not dry as quickly because of that. Let me get my scissors out of the way. I'm not going to worry about my edges right now. I'm going to throw my spatula in the bucket. I am going to wipe those drips right down the edge so they're not getting on my tile. And then I'm going to grab my tweezers and grab that one thing that I definitely see right there. I'm not going to worry about this. And I want, like I said, I want to do swipe and I want to put paint in my shovel and I'm just going to use my favorite color and maybe some, what else, maybe some enamel that's similar but not the same at all and then I'm going to see if there's any paint left in this satin finish metallic Venetian blue from It is. It's Modern Masters. I actually got it right. And that wasn't shaken up, so we don't know what that'll be like. I think I'm going to get really strange, too, and put some, um, maybe it's not that strange, put some magenta in there also. Well, I would if I could, and I will if I can. I'm going to just open that bottle right up and pour it in there into that shovel. Oh, I've just discovered I have a little paint left in the bottom of something. So, now... No, I want a lighter color right up front. So i got to pick one. Still not the lightest color I want. I'm going for my, my neon purple from Folk Art. It may or may not show. And let's put some uh, Anita's White Metallic in front of that. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put it on my end. Or am I? <laughs> I don't think it matters that much what's here. I wish I'd put some turquoise in there, but you know what? I can still do that. I'll let that one drain down. And that one as well. Just gonna fake it out right now. Throw that shovel in the bucket. Put my gold. Do I want any orange? I kind of like this orange. I planned on using more of that blue, but I'm thinking turquoise. Don't ask me why. I might even be thinking... I'm getting kind of radical as far as these swipes go. They're not like anything else, for sure. And I'm going to use some... Do I have it? Some black enamel. Try not to make it too much. And then I'm going to swipe the bottom out.
first and scrape that paint off if I have a little container, and I do. And now I'm going to go back and use my smaller swipe tools. I hope that my theory about what I'm doing is correct. I'm looking to leave a little bit of paint color solid in between and that seems to be working so far. Just dragging things back and forth. And it seems like, to me, a lot of the gold just keeps on going, so I want a little bit more over here. Right down that side. I'm glad I put that turquoise in. That's a really nice color. I want a little more of what? I can't do that. I need the gold over there. And yes, I dripped. Fortunately, right now it doesn't matter. And maybe a few drips aren't the end of the world either. Now I could put gold, I mean I could put green at the bottom and drag it up, and that is what I did recently, but I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone because I like what I've got, and even though it's kind of simple, and I might have to add a couple of things over here on this side to make it seem like it goes all the way across, that's okay. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, and I'm going to call this simply beautiful. And that was quick, and you guys just make sure you use the colors that you love, and you'll probably get a similar reaction. And thank you guys for sharing my videos. Thank you guys for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for leaving me wonderful comments. Thank you for donating to help keep the studio rolling all this time. And if you want to continue to donate to keep the studio rolling, you will be included in a monthly drawing. And you can see the drawing prizes on the exhibition video on the end screens of this video. And I guess if I wanted to add that green tomorrow, I could. But I like... It's just nice and subtle. I just really like it just like it is. What else do I need to tell you guys? Uh, check my channel for creative playlists where you will find 1,310 videos organized by the 100. 12 lists of 100 and one being populated, more than likely. And uh, 13 lists of genres like flower gardens or swipes or abstracts. I wish this could be in all of them. I love you guys. There's 86,000 of you. I only have a few hundred people watching at a time, so the longer you watch, the more likely I am to tell the YouTube algorithm that, uh, or you can tell them, that I'm worth place, giving better placement to, and I could use some better placement. I have an Amazon link underneath the video, and on it you can find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas and the OXO Omelette Turning Spatulas, of which you saw them miraculously spread paint, and lots of other cool stuff. List number one at no added cost to you. If you shop there, it helps me out a little bit. Uh, check your notifications are turned on. Thank you guys for everything. I said that before, but I really mean it. Um, appreciate the thumbs up too, very much. So if you forget, if you're one of those people who tells me you forget, thank you for remembering. My books are called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, and they are also on the Amazon link. I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group. I think I ought to turn that so you can see it. That would be nice, huh? And uh, that's for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has a Shop Now button that'll take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com so you can see what I've put there since 2013. There's a lot. There's over a thousand pieces. And there's like 20 or 30 things in each. Teespring is below the video. And it has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And I am in love with this. This is so cool. And it wasn't didn't take long and I don't think it would take you long either. But um, pay attention and watch the videos. And, and I guarantee that if you do what I did, you're going to have a pretty good result. Well, maybe guarantee is the wrong word, but I wish, I wish you luck. <laughs> I believe in you. 
So what else should I tell you? I think I've told you everything that's on my little crib sheet and um, whatever else I haven't told you, you'll see in another video. Please check the community board for tomorrow's video or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I post a video there for tomorrow on YouTube most of the time. I love you guys. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Binge watch for me, would ya? And uh, watch the commercials if you can make yourself because that's where my paycheck comes from. But um, I do sell my artwork. I think I mentioned that. If I didn't, I do sell my artwork and that is the absolute bottom line. Best way you can support the studio is to collect some of my artwork. Thank you guys very much for being here. I love you dearly and I will see you soon. I will see you anon, in fact. Bye for now. Priscilla out.